Hey, this is Jeremy with Arva Snow Safety Equipment. We're up here at Solitude, Utah today, up with Backcountry Skiing Canada. And we're intro and showing uh, some new items in our reactor airbag line. Uh, the reactor comes in four different sizes, uh, 18, 24, 32, and 40. And for 2020, we'll be debuting a Pro Flex series that you can make uh, either a 24, 32, or a Ski Patrol specific 35 uh, liter pack all out of the same frame. Uh, a couple things that make Arva unique, uh, we've been in the game for a while in Europe, but number one is the placement of our system. So it's very centered, it's along the spine, and if you notice the balloon is around the exterior of the pack. This gives for two main benefits. Uh, the first benefit is a ton of packable space. So the Classic Series will have a, a quick open zipper here into your rescue gear um, for quick access there. But the main compartment that you can store in with the system, it uh, would be closed up. You have a, just a ton of, ton of room. Uh, the other uh, benefit is with the balloon. Uh, coming out the top, it's a really big horseshoe shape. It's dual chamber and very rigid to the body. So if you are moving in snow, it's gonna be what we see as the ideal design for lifting you in that snow. And in the odd chance you had a, an impact or a puncture on one side, you still have half the balloon intact. Um, for 2020, um, the, uh, the flex system will be able to remove the 32 uh, size pocket and put on a 24. And we see that as a really big benefit uh, for those that are investing in a bag and we just want more versatility. Uh, we're excited to show this product. It skis really well. That's the other benefit with uh, being centered there. It doesn't feel top heavy, side heavy in any ways. It just feels like a normal backpack. And uh, we're really excited about this line and bringing it out and uh, bringing more into North America. Okay, you want to blow it? Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, we'll do. We can do a pause. Actually, segue there if you want. Maybe keep the same position. Sure. Because um, I didn't talk about the 3D fit there. Okay. Oh yeah, good idea. So. Um, yeah. Okay. Just give me three, two, one. And, uh, You're good whenever. I'm good whenever you are. Okay. One of the other things that makes uh, our bag nice uh, is the 3D fit system. So one bag fits 95% of people. Um, it actually has the size adjustments here in the back, and basically. Um, from a size small to a large. It adjusts the strap height, the torso length, and then a very important design element is it puts the handle in just the right pole position. We've had uh, studies in Europe where about 60% of people that deploy the handle uh, are moving in the snow already. So we see the, the shape of the handle and the placement of the handle as a very important idea. It's not too high, it's not too low. That 3D fit system puts it just right there. And you can practice at home and dry fire, or you can also use our refillable air systems to get an inexpensive uh, test system done at your local retailer. So deflating our airbag uh, is actually a pretty easy and nice two-handed process. Um, people don't really um, practice this as much as they could out in the field, but when it's snowing, your hands are cold, etc. Um, opening the bag, you'll just remove the air canister that has uh, been deployed. And you'll hear a little air kind of reversing out the venturi. Uh, there's now a puncture hole in that, and it's down to its empty weight. Um, you'll use a deflation tool at that point. Uh, rather than having to hold any kind of valve or anything, that basically reverses that, uh, that air coming out. And like I said, it's a, now a two-handed procedure to hurry and do this. Um, so with the, uh, the deflation tool uh, in the one-way valve there, um, it's going to deflate the whole time I'm packing it, which is really nice. Uh, so what I'll do essentially is a three-part process. I'll first take the uh, zippers that uh, have uh, been opened and, and come off the track on purpose, and I'll reset them and take them up to the top. Okay, so step three, um, after we've done the accordion fold and started the zipper up here, uh, is we're just going to lay it down and do a little ponytail fold, uh, even with the bottom of the pack, and then stuff the bag back in. We'll continue to deflate a little bit. We'll basically get it to uh, the width of the end there and bring the zipper on down. Okay. And 
from that point, you're good to put a new canister in and uh, go back out. Or hopefully go home. Safe.